Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I'm in Sweden by High Coast. This time it's called Quirqueros 3 Petraria 50.8% ABV. This is a sample that distillery sent me from Sweden to Germany. Over here, I have the um, box, is the name of the old distillery. Um, Compass Box kind of complained, and the people in Sweden are so nice that they decided to change the name of the distillery from Box to High Coast Distillery. And here's the Quokeris 2, which was the Alba, which is was um, American Oak. There's the Quercos A1, which is Robur, which is the um, European, Northern European Oak. And then there's here the Proterra, which also Cecil Oak, or Winter Oak, which is from Hungary. So this is Hungarian Oak. And there will be a fourth one with um, Kukeros Mongolia, which we know as Mitsunara from Japan. 7,781 bottles will be available in 50 milliliters bottles. And they are all bottled at 50.8%. So, I have a wonderful site online, and I'm going to try to read some of it here for us, because it gives you all the information you need about this whiskey. So, if you go to boxwhiskey.se, which is for Sweden, Box is still the name of the website, which I think is a little... Sorry, guys, you should, if you're going to change your name, change it completely. And then you go to slash en for English, you go slash, you type in... Quirakos um, minus III minus um, Preteria minus 2. And you get to go to the website, which is very, very good. And there you really get a boatload of information. You say here um, about the recipe, it's 100% unpeated whiskey that first has been matured in 200 liter bourbon casks for 4.7 years and then um, finished for 10 months. Um, in 40 liter casks of virgin Hungarian oak, which were actually made in Hungary. The average fermenting time was 80 hours in stainless steel washbacks. This was distilled between the 15th of March and the 29th of April in the year 2013. The first cut of the run is always 13 minutes. Those are the four shots. And the second cut of the run is at 67%. Now, um, these 200 liter first fill bourbon casks were all delivered from Kentucky, USA. And these casks of Cuericos Petrera um, were all coopered in Hungary. These are anchor casks, which means they're 40 liter casks. So these um, bourbon casks were still were, were, um, stored until October of 2014 in a dump warehouse. And after they lost some of the alcohol strength, they were moved um, and they stayed from October 2014 until November 2018 in a drier climate at a box warehouse number two. Now the back, the bourbon casks were emptied and the whiskey was then filled into these 100 acre anchors, these 140 liter um, casks. And these casks were um, emptied into that between the 19th and 20th of um, January um, 2018 and then they were bottled in um, between the 23rd and the 26th of November 2018 so um, 7,781 bottles um, in total and they recommend oops <laughs> they recommend um, that the Queros number no. three Petrera um, to breathe in the glass for a while before enjoying so sorry so the yeast they used is a um, Fermentinsias Zaftowski M1, which sounds like a beer yeast from um, from Sweden. They have malt, that's Pilsner malt, um, from the Viking malt in Hunstedt in Sweden. And the barley types were Tipple, Barca, Rosalina, and Quench, which is also very interesting. And the processed water, all this information is online, it's amazing! came from the Balyun Lake filtered through sand and a carbon filter. And the cooling water came from the Anger River. Wonderful, wonderful. And the batch size was 1.2 tons of malt. 
and there's actually a list if you go to that site I told you and I'm going to actually try to write it down there and you have a list of all the bourbon barrels that were um, you have cast number 451 all the way up to um, with a couple gaps up to um, 671 and they were all bottled on the 21st of March, the 25th of March, the 20, um, the 4th of April, the 11th of April, the 15th of April, the 17th of April, the 18th of April, the 24th of April, and the 29th of April, 2013. And yet they were all dumped on the 4th or the 3rd of January, which is really weird because uh, every single cast was dumped on the third except for two. I guess they forgot something or they said, whoops, not enough. We need two more. <laughs> and they were immediately then on, um, they were filled here on the 29th of April. They were all filled into these uh, Hungarian oak anchors, all at 62.3%. So it goes in the barrel strength is 67%. It went down and they vatted it all together and got it down to 62.3%. Put it in the barrels and then you can actually see that they were matured for um, a total of 5.56 years in total, all of them. So 10 months, all of them were emptied on the 19th or the 20th of November 2018. It's amazing the information they have on here. So they put some water in there and got it down to 50.8%. So my nose says, I'm getting vanilla, yes. I'm getting a very, very ripe, I'm thinking it's a blackberry. I'm getting a very not ripe pear. I'm getting a lot of like, if you took a from a birch tree and you pulled off the bark of that branch and you, I'm getting a lot of that wet young wood. Now, their tasting notes say the nose should be vanilla, clove, lemon peel, ripe pear, and oak. Well, I didn't get the ripe pear, but I got the not yet ripe pear. Let's try it at 50.8%. Somewhat bitter. Very intense. Now, this is 50.8%. So I'm going to try to bring it down to about 46%. I do get the vanilla. I do get the oak. They write fruit salad and lots of clove. I'm really trying to find that clove in there. I'm not getting it today. I'm getting a spice, like an allspice, which has clove in it, I'm sure. Um, but it's not exactly what I thought it would be. Now, dumbed down or watered down to 46%. Mmm. 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 Very, very nice. Creamy, vanilla. I get the a fruit salad now. I get some light clove in there. I get some cinnamon in there. Very, very smooth. Very, very pleasant. Very, very nice. 50.8% just doesn't do it for this whiskey, in my opinion. I do understand that they wanted to have them all bottled at 50.8%. That was with the Quiros um, Alba, as well as the Quiros um, Robror, as well as now the Quiros um, um, Petrera. That's what they wanted. That's okay. Um, but yet, this is a perfect whiskey at 46%. Um, much, much better. Then it's long, it's lingering, it's, it's a lot of oak, it's a lot of sweetness, a lot of vanilla, a lot of that. I mean, it's still going to go for that very, very dark um, raspberry, not blackberry jam, even a little bit of blueberries in there. Mmm, very, very, very nice. I like this. This is going to be a B- minus for me. Value for money, it costs 799 Swiss krones or kroner, um, as if we all know what that means. That would be around 79 euros, which would translate into about $95 at the moment. Is it worth it? Mm, C minus. If you're looking for something that is very specific, um, if you're looking for something that is from Sweden, if you're looking for something without any um, peat, yay. If you're looking for something which is, has high, fairly high ABV, this is something to look for. 
but that Hungarian oak really does something different to this. What I'm going to do and what I was promised they're going to have is I'm going to do one, two, three, and four one day with each other. And that's why I'm not touching this little bit here. I need that for my English and my German videos. They promised maybe one day there might actually be a little box with the one, two, three, and four. And so you could actually try them and compare them to another. I set these aside. I'm going to do this myself. I'm very, very thankful that I don't get this little tiny 3CL, but rather a 5CL version, which makes life a lot easier for me. It's actually more than 5CL, to be honest. I think it's actually more almost like 10CL. Um, this is very, very nice. I like it. As I said, it's a B minus value for money, therefore a C minus. Um, my question of the day is what bottlings of whiskey do you know that have Hungarian oak finishes? I know Masterson Rye, 10 year old Hungarian oak. I liked it. And I know there's a Method of Madness Irish whiskey, which was also um, finished in Hungarian oak, which I thought was okay. It was a little weird, but it was okay. Are there anything else? Is there anything else out there that you know of that actually has a Hungarian oak finish? I would really like to know. If you don't know anything, say, don't know, Jason. Write it down there. Comments are highly welcomed here on YouTube. Maybe we can have a little bit of dialogue as well. Um, I do uh, comment on all the comments. So, if this is not rare and exotic, I don't know what is. Um, 7,781 bottles. I think half of them stay in Sweden. Um, half of those go to Germany and the rest of Europe. And a few might make their way over to Asia slash the U.S. Um, High Coast is not very, very good at the moment of sending out their specialty things to the rest of the world. But they're working on ramping up the production. And I'm sure in the next years to come, there will be more than enough whiskey to go around if you're willing to pay the price, the premium price for Swedish whiskey. Thank you very much for the sample. Full disclosure, I got this from the distillery. They sent it to me. And I'm very thankful that I had the opportunity to try this online. All right. Wednesdays. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, my videos come out. Please like, please subscribe, and please tell others about this crazy American over here in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskey. All the best. Bye-bye.